Oh, y'all ain't said that. Come on here. I personally don't care anything for the devil. Yeah, but that's it. So, when Satan began to make war with the saints, when Satan began to war with the young people, uh -huh. sometimes we have things set in order and things to go a certain particular yes. way. But then there is something that the Holy Ghost want to do in this house on today. Yes, and I don't Lord. know about y'all, but uh, I, I really want you to just look at somebody and say, hey. Look at them. Say, hey. Hey. My attitude is not with you. My attitude is not my with you. My problem is not with you. My problem is not Tell with them, you. I got some things going on on the inside. I got you. some things going on Tell on the inside. I'm sick and tired of coming in here trying to make you my problem. And I'm sick and tired of coming in here. I don't even like the problem. stuff I live like. I don't All even right. like the stuff I go out and do. Yes. I don't even like the person I am. Tell them my, my, my stuck up situation ain't got nothing to do with you. Got nothing Look to do with them, you. Say, my problem is internal. My problem Tell is my internal. Problem is the way I woke up this morning is truly how I feel. And since if you woke up feeling like a nut, then the day is the time to get cracked. Come on here, somebody. Come on here. Anybody know anything about the nut cracker? Come on yes, here, somebody. Sir. I want you to just real quick, I just want you to just spread yourself out from somebody that's sitting on the side of you that just looks so stuck up. Oh, I ain't scared uh -huh. of no but get away from the person that got that negative vibe going on in their life and just separate yourself. Tell them, I don't mean no harm. We can kick it later, but right yeah. about now, I need a word from God because I Glory. need God to in my situation. I need God to do something, and baby, your attitude is kind of rubbing off on me, and I don't need to be sitting next to nobody that just kind of stuck up. Come on here, somebody. Every now and again, we just got to really look at it like it is. And somebody say, it is what it is. It is what it is. Somebody say, it is what it is. It is what it is. Well, y'all young folks going to make it hard. I guess we're going to cry today, then. Let's go now. Woo! Minister Greg was on the minister, but he haven't made it. So I'm just going to go forward into the Lord. And I'm going to just really put some things out here on today. And I'm going to minister to you all. Seriously, and I'm not going to apologize for the, uh, the thing that the Lord is going to do right then and right now. Tom Alicia, would you come with the solo after I preach? Okay, just give me a minute to minister. But if you have your Bibles, go over to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. We're going to look at verse 5. Verse 5. 2 Corinthians, verse 5. Fourth chapter. Verse 5. The Word of God reads, For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves servants for your sake. For our God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness have shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in our earthen vessels. We got a treasure in our earthen vessels. All right. That the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Uh-huh. For we are troubled on every side. Yes. For we are troubled on every side. Uh-huh. There's trouble going on on every There's side. There's trouble on every side. We troubled on every side. Yet not in distress. Watch what he says. We're perplexed, but not in despair persecuted but not forsaken cast down but not destroyed always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body for we live we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus sake that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then the death worketh in us, but life in you. We have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken, we also believe. 
and therefore speak, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sake, that the abundant grace may might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perisheth, yet the inner man is renewed day by day. For our light afflictions, which is but for a moment, work it for us a far more exceeding and external weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which do not appear, which are the things, I'm sorry, which are not seen. For the things which are not seen, which are seen rather, are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 I want you to look at somebody and I just want you to stand them deeply in their face. And I uh -huh. want you to say, hey, neighbor, look at them and say, neighbor, neighbor, don't count me out. Don't count me out. Tay -tay, I want you to come forward, if you will, and just come stand right here by me, if you will. Uh -huh. Come stand right Glory here by to me, God. if you will. Because whatever demon you're struggling with, uh -huh. let's see, is he powerful than Jesus? You come out come here. Come with me. Look at Jesus. somebody and say neighbor. Neighbor. Tell them, say, don't count me out. Don't count me Come out. On, I want you to just lay hands and touch two people and say, hey, don't count me don't out. Don't count me out. Don't count Tell me them, out. Tell them, say, it's not over for me. Do not count me out. All right. Come on here. Let's have a little church. There are many times. Thank you, Linda. But there are many times in life where everyone has to face life head on. There are many times. Every person has to go and face life head on and for those of you that feel like you have your life under control then it's time to look back at where you started from and I'm going to deal in our minds very deeply it's a marvelous thing to accept the blessings of God without a struggle any person can go and accept God's blessing without a struggle any person can Get something at their advantage and just take, take, take. Uh huh. And we call it receiving. And it comes without a struggle. All right. But on the other hand, it's every believer's desire to receive from God and believe that they should not have to struggle. All right. But somebody lied to that believer that anytime you get something from the Lord, it's going to come with a struggle. Uh -huh. A struggle is not always bad. It's all about the attitude of how you are conducting yourself when you're going through this struggle. It's every believer's job to desire to be the best in life. And then they don't want to have to struggle. Because most of the time the church that we grow up in teaches us that, hey, God is going to do this, that, and the other, and all you have to do is ask, knock, seek, receive. All right. But what do you do when you knock on God's door, but he will not answer you? What do you do when you seek in God, but you can't find him? What do you do when you sit here and you are asking God, but he will not give you an answer? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, all right. Mm -hmm. Because if you're always talking to God, and God is always talking to you, then... Your relationship with God should not be predicated on stuff because God is not a material God. God is not a monetary God. God is not a natural God. God is a spirit and they that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. I was told, and I believe you was told this lie, right. that when you come to Jesus, uh -huh. just as you are, weary, wounded, and sad, they lied and said, in him you will find a resting place. But that's not always true. Because uh -huh. I was told that when I come to Jesus, that everything in my life is going to be fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But right. I found out that no matter how saved or how sold out you are, 
that every believer has his or her time where life itself is going to come knocking on your door uh -huh. and you are going to find yourself in some type of right. internal, philosophical, emotional, psychological, economical, and even social struggle. All right. Uh -huh. I'm going to thump y'all here some today. Come out here. You can sit there like Addison. Uh -huh. If you want to, but the Come truth out of the here. matter is, is that every person uh -huh. that's on the Lord's side, side for real, for Come real, out here. is going to have a struggle. That's it. Life in general has a way of coming after every person in this room. Uh, and one thing that I love about God is that God is that when he see his people or he see your struggles and they speak in negative against where his purpose is for your life, God intervenes in your struggle, but he does not stop you from struggling. All right. What he does is he intervenes by doing it with you. Yes. That's why the scripture says that with men, all things are impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Yes. Because I've been taught that since I can do this and I can get myself out of it, then that's why I don't feel like I need Jesus. But anytime you grow up and you know that you struggle right. to get where you are and you had nothing to do with how you come out of it and you look back at it and say it had to be the Lord that did it with uh -huh. you or with somebody. He don't just go and do things for you, but he go do things with you. All right. uh -huh. Let me just go into the Bible because I got a lot of people who looking at me like I'm scared. Come out so, here. Uh huh. You know, even Jesus had a struggle. Uh huh. If I go into the Garden of Gethsemane, I don't care how saved Jesus was, he struggled intensely. To the Bible itself said that his sweat uh -huh. was like drops of blood. All right. So much so to where he prayed three times the same type of prayer. And when he got ready to end the prayer all three times, he said, Father, if it be thy will, remove the cup from me. All now right. watch this because here is a man who laid hands on the sick uh -huh. and they recovered. Here is a man, thank you, Tay Tay, who laid eyes on people and then just spoke to them and said, Your faith have made you whole. And the man got healed and whole. Here is a man who sat here and opened up the blind eyes and unstopped the deaf ears and caused the leper to leap, I mean, to be healed and the, the lame to leap for uh -huh. and walk. Here is a man by the name of Jesus. Now, here we go. And what Jesus did, and all of the power that he had walking on water when it was time to walk on the water, come in the storms when it was time to calm the storms. And then watch this. He's in a garden now trying to get the Father yeah. to take away from him the cup that he has to drink from. So he prayed three times the same prayer. You and I have been taught that anytime you you pray a prayer one time and you go back and pray again, that's called repetition. And they say, God don't hear a repetition. All right. But here is Jesus who is struggling in the Garden of Gethsemane and he is praying this prayer uh -huh. not once, not twice, but three times. And all three times, he never got an answer from God. Y'all ain't talking Come to me. Out here. Uh, but he made up his mind that this thing that I'm going through since the Father is silent in my struggle, I'm going to uh -huh. say, not my will, but thine will shall be done. So it don't matter if God say yes or no. I'm not going to move from that struggle until I begin Come to get out my here. mind right and say, it's not my will, but it's his will that's going to be done. Every person in this house has a struggle. Every person in this room is going to struggle. Uh, you see, even when people see your struggle and when people talk negative of your character but when God see your struggle and he sees uh -huh. who you are but he knows how you're going to come through this uh, it's because he's going to use your struggle to get you to where he wants you to 
to be. Uh huh. Let me help you understand something. Uh, God can't take you to a higher place right. if you're not willing to stay with God in the uh -huh. low place. Let me see how can I say this. Uh, don't look for a Mercedes Benz Come on the Lord here. if you can't treat the Pinto right. Yeah. And bless God in your oh, Pinto. Hey. Uh, I don't know who lied to you, but God can't bring you from government assistance uh -huh. and take you to a self owned business when you still lying about the children you got in your house just to get the food. Come on, yeah. Talking to me up in here. So it don't matter what you got to struggle yeah. with. A struggle is a struggle, but the thing about the struggle is when I grab a hold to Jesus and I say, Lord, if I see you struggling, then I don't yeah. mind struggling because I know it's not my will, but, but it's the, his it's will where? that's going to be done. Come on, uh, here. You see, it's amazing how oh, time hey. can interrupt anybody's plan. I don't care who you are. Uh-huh. You can be the toughest person, uh -huh. but if that time is now and it's time to humble you, oh, time is going to meet you. Uh, you, you can be one of the baddest persons in Eels. Uh, you can be one of the most Thank awesome singers in Eels. Uh -huh. and the most fantastic dancer yeah. in Eels. Uh, but whatever God has already predestinated for your life, uh, uh, it don't matter who you are or what you are, uh, you are not going to be able to stop time from happening. Uh -huh. They tell me death is right. inevitable. Uh, but I'm here to tell you that you can't defeat time. Uh, because one thing about the Lord is uh, he operates outside of time just to make time, yeah. time for me. Uh, can I say that like this? Uh, God will step out of time, yeah. uh, look into eternity, yeah. uh, and then call things which be not as though they are. Yeah. And put it back in the time yes, he will. Call it predestination. Yeah. And he will say, right about Glory. time, I'm going to Go save ahead. Derek. I'm going to deliver no. Derek and raise Derek up. But it's not his Go time ahead. yet. But when the time comes, I tell you what Paul said about Jesus in Galatians uh -huh. 5. Uh, he said, when the fullness of time came, then Jesus came. Uh -huh. But yes. you remember in the Old Testament how all of them tried to have a baby. Uh -huh. And every woman that had a man child, they thought that was the right time. Yes. Uh, every woman that had a male child, uh -huh. they thought that they had the promise. Why? Because they heard uh, God tell Moses, uh, no matter of fact, God tell Abraham, uh, no matter of fact, God tell Sarah, uh, no matter of fact. Let me go back a little further. Okay, go ahead. When God told him in Genesis, yes, uh, when with Adam and Eve, yeah. uh, he said, that's going to come a time uh, that I'm going to put enmity come between on, your seed yeah. and your seed. Uh, uh, that they, everybody look for the promise. Oh, oh, hey. But nobody could have it. Oh, I can see Sarah uh, now uh, just rejoicing over Isaac. And then God said, I'm sorry, but the time is not right. Oh, that's not the promise. But I see hey. Abraham struggling. He struggled to do the right thing. But the Bible said, although he had a struggle, he did not stagger. Uh, I want to talk to some real break. folks. Uh, some folks that will not stagger, but ain't ashamed to admit that I have a hand up, uh, that only Christ was hungry for. Uh, yeah. and can't nobody bring me through this uh, except Jesus. Uh, can I talk to you here? Yes, uh, it's amazing how time uh, uh, it interrupts your future plans uh, because many of us in this house uh, on today uh, we did not think that we would be where we are today. Uh, some of y'all didn't imagine being where you are today. Uh, some of y'all just thought your life was going to be so wonderful. Uh, and some of you didn't imagine your life turning up the way it did. But I found out that without a struggle, I would not be able to lift up my hands and give All God right. glory for what he yeah. alone has done for me. I know what you say. I know what you say. Well, Jesus gave me life. All right. And when I got saved, everything about my life was alright. I'm here to tell you you're lying. Uh -huh. But the day you got saved, that's the day that the enemy came hard. Yeah. Uh -huh. Before you got saved, uh -huh. you didn't have no struggle. Uh, before you got saved, you didn't have no conviction. Uh, I want to talk to some real folks. All right. uh -huh. Before you got saved, it was easy to just go with everybody. Yeah. It was easy to just go from one place to the next. Yeah. Do a 
what you want to do without no conviction. But now since you're saved, you got something on the inside. And it's I got something pulling on you. And the devil is saying, oh, you can have that. But God is over there saying, you better not touch that. Oh, the devil is saying, you can have that. But God is over there saying, don't mess with that. Uh-huh, it's because you are saved. Look at somebody and say, I don't struggle. Because I'm not saved. Tell them I struggle because I, I am saved. Because I am Tell them, say, I might look sanctified right now. Yeah. But baby, I ain't always been sanctified. Uh, look at them say, I might be set apart right now. Uh, tell them, but I ain't always been set apart. Uh, tell them, there has been some things in my life uh, that have took me down the wrong path. Uh, you see, if I be truthful, uh, when Jesus saved you, uh, he went into your personal life. Uh, and what he did was yeah. he started overthrowing tables. Uh, and he started casting out devils. Uh -huh. uh, and he started rebuking unclean spirits uh, on your behalf. Uh, because before you got saved you and I was just wretched can I talk to some of y'all the Bible called us yeah. wretched the young folks call them ratchet y'all yeah. y'all too stuck Come up in here yeah. I'm gonna preach like I feel it hey. some of uh, the Bible hey, call them hey, hey. but the young people call them thoughts y'all yeah. don't talk to me yeah. uh, but who and however before we got saved, we were just wretched and undone. Look at somebody say, I feel a little Emmanuel Hudson. Tell them, oh, she wretched. Uh-huh, tell them I was wretched before. Uh-huh, tell them, say, I was thought it out before. Tell them, before I got saved, I couldn't keep my eyes to myself. Can I bring up that old song? It said it was written all over your face. You ain't got to say a word. But before uh, we got saved, we was all wretched and undone. Uh, all of our righteousness, uh, it was just filthy rags yeah. in his eyes. Uh, and before you got saved, uh, you just did whatever your flesh wanted to do. Uh -huh. You said whatever came to your mouth. Uh, yeah. Some of y'all still saying whatever come out your mouth. Uh -huh. Some of y'all yeah. still using B-I-H. Uh, and then you expressing it. Y'all uh, yeah. ain't going to talk to me up again. Yeah. Uh, that's why I can't even afford to get on some of y'all faces. Facebook pages, because y'all ain't cleaned up what you messed up. Uh, can I here. talk to some real folks in this house? Uh, yeah. uh, you did what you wanted to do. Uh, your mouth was unclean. Uh, you said what you wanted to say. Yeah. Uh, and when things was your fault, uh, you did not man up a woman up. Uh, you put the responsibility on somebody yeah. else. Uh, but there is a struggle uh, that comes to all of us. Uh, but before you even come to the fact uh, to understand that there is a struggle. You got to come to the fact to understand that something is going on All in right. my life. Before any person struggles, they first got to be met face to face with the All struggle. Right. The struggle don't just cause you to struggle. The struggle take you through the struggle. I want to talk to some real dope smokers. Right. Uh -huh, you used to smoke that dope, but it wasn't no struggle to smoke it. But when you get saved, uh -huh, lie can't get you no more. Uh -huh, marijuana won't get you no more. To boys, get off that phone. Mojo won't get you yeah. no more. I want to talk to some real folks in here. Uh -huh, before you got saved, there wasn't no warfare going on. Uh -huh, you had every woman before you got saved. There wasn't no problem ripping nobody off. But now that you are saved, you got to keep your eyes to yourself. Uh, you might look twice, but you got to rebuke your Y'all yeah. ain't gonna talk I'm to me. It's a strong warfare that goes on inside of our minds. Uh huh, young folks, it's a warfare I'm that goes on in your mind. Uh huh, the reason why. Some can I preach like I want to? Yes, can I really preach like the Holy Ghost yes, is leading me? But sometimes, young people, the reason why you have more than one spirit, person rather, is simply because you have not cast off the last spirit. And the reason why that person can't satisfy you is because the last person didn't satisfy you. And the reason why that person can't satisfy you is because the person before the last person 
situation can satisfy yeah. you. And before you know it, you get to run around with every tongue kicking yeah. down. Yeah. You can sit there and look crazy if you Come want to. I'm preaching that. Uh, but you can run to every tongue kicking down. Yeah. But the problem is uh, you are struggling. You're struggling with something uh, that God wants to get you out of. But they're struggling with something uh, that the devil wants to take them into. The devil wants them to mess up your life. God wants to bring you out of the struggle. But because you're blinded, all right. and the God of this world, which is Satan, have blinded the people's eyes to from believing the truth. They say, it don't matter what I go through. I know God going to bring me out. The truth of the matter is, God can't bring you out of nothing. You ain't willing to give up to God. Are you going to struggle until you make up your mind that I'm tired of looking like I look. I'm tired of being the way I am. I'm tired of struggling over the same stuff. Look at somebody and say, don't have no pity party. Invite me over to your house. Tell them because I ain't got time to be counseling or comforting you over the same stuff that you should have been came out of. You have to understand. It don't make no sense that every time you look around, every person that you come into contact with, it's, uh, that person's struggling, you struggling. Uh, uh, the truth of the matter is, uh, I don't want to be with you uh, if I'm struggling and you struggling. Because uh, how can two struggling yeah. folks uh, take somebody to purpose? Uh, can I preach like I want to? Uh, there's a strong warfare uh, that goes on in the mind. Uh, it has us warring. Uh, our flesh and our spirit uh, is warring against one another. Uh, I know it's tight, but it's yeah. right. Uh, uh, and half of the times when you are really struggling, you don't want to deal with yeah. no real hallelujahs. Most of the time, when you're really struggling, you don't want to deal with no church folks. Why? Because saved church folks, they're going to tell you what's right. Rather you like yeah. it or you don't. Nobody don't want to hear. Leave it alone. It's not good for yeah. you. Why? Because I need to go through it for myself. But why even take it on yourself to put yourself through some stuff that you might not come out and still have your right mind? Yeah. Can I talk to some real folks. Have you ever been in something? Oh, hey. Something so horrific in your life and it just wasn't that easy to come through. Have you really been hurt before and it wasn't that easy to get the victory over? Uh-huh. And if you really be honest, you don't even want God to put it out. Have you ever been stabbed in your heart yeah. and since you know the knife is there, you don't want nobody pulling the knife out. Right. You just try to leave the knife in and walk around and bleed. Yeah. Why? Because of somebody trying to remove the blade. What's going to end up happening is you might pull it too fast. Instead of bleeding me in, I bleed out. Now I'm really struggling. I'm struggling to get the victory over my past. I'm struggling to get the victory onto where I need to go. I'm struggling to get the victory uh, over my future. Yeah. I'm struggling to walk away uh, from this place uh, when God is calling me uh, to that place. Uh, I'm struggling. Uh, and every time you see a child of God, uh, they're always in some type of struggle. Uh, but look at somebody and say, neighbor, uh, I got to come out of my struggle. Yeah. Uh, I got a question for y'all. Uh, who in here uh, would want to be Isaac? Uh, the one that the father uh, is going to deliver him up to death uh, in the name of the Lord. Uh, who in here uh, would yeah. want to be uh, the man called Job? Yeah. Uh, someone who's going to lose everything uh, just so God uh, and the devil can have their discussion uh, and God can tell the devil, uh, uh -huh, I know Job uh, holds fast to his integrity. Yeah. Uh, who in here uh, will want to be Joseph, uh, the one that God he used his family to turn their backs on him and then lie about killing him and then turn around and not 
to save your whole family after some years have passed and turn around and look at them with tears in your eyes and say what you meant for evil God meant for my good you know it gets troublesome at times to know that any day and at any time in life that you can do the right thing and you can reach your hands out and try to help the wrong person and you can look wrong for trying to help the wrong person while you're doing the right thing can I talk to some folks yes, here sir. it's all behind the struggle don't fool yourself good things do happen to bad people yeah. and bad things do happen to good people can I preach yes. Y'all ain't gonna let me preach it. I see. Uh, but through it all, uh, there has a come a time in your life uh, to where when we struggle, uh, we got to know who's in the midst of our struggle. Uh, you got to understand now, uh, Quantas, that that scripture, yeah. uh, what God has meant for evil, uh, uh, the devil meant, I mean, what God, the devil yeah. meant for evil, yeah, uh, God, God meant for my good, uh, yeah, it's not God just God to God be God taken God uh, and held God down God and incarcerated, uh, it's to be taken and expanded. So we can see the truth of the matter Because when God looks at something It can say that it got evil attached to it But God gonna turn it around But what do you do when God don't turn the evil around But he lets you go through the evil And then he tells you now you turn around And walk back through the evil And you're not walking through evil You're walking through a different word Let me see how can I put it this. If God turns evil this way, and the struggle desires for me to go this way, I'm stepping out yeah. of the evil. But when God say, wait a minute, you can't do it without oh, a problem. Man. I'm going to turn this thing around and let you walk through yeah. the evil. Y'all ain't having oh, a church with me to be there. So the evil has turned man. around, and now I can live through it. Somebody, if you will, and say, Live through it. Yeah, Tell them, get over it. Tell them, you're more than a conqueror. Tell them, above all things, you can make yeah. it. Tell them, stop lying to yourself. Tell them, I know yeah, the struggle yeah. is for real, but you are really in your struggle because yeah, struggling yeah. only lasts this for a moment. And I heard the saints of old say that I'm so glad yeah. that trouble don't last always. Oh, uh, we did not come. Uh, well, let me just go here. Uh, it is here then that we find uh, the Apostle Paul writing to the church at Corinth. Yes. And he says, therefore, uh, seeing we have this ministry, we uh -huh. got this ministry. Uh, right. As we receive mercy, uh, he said, we don't faint. Uh, why? Because we have renounced uh, the hidden things of dishonesty. Uh, we're not walking in craftiness. Uh, in other words, we're not cunning. Uh, we don't come with cunning and enticing words. Uh, but we come in demonstration uh, of the spirit and of the power. Uh, we're not coming to you trying to con you. Uh, we're not coming here trying to pump and prime you. Uh, we're not coming here just because it's something to do. Uh, uh, we're here to do this thing because something has yes. happened to me. Uh, and when you look at it, uh, Paul said the things uh, that I learned out there yes. and the things that I attained uh, even in school, uh, I kept them things all as done. Uh, uh, he said there is something that I have not obtained uh, and there is something that I have not reached yet. Uh, but one thing I desire, uh, I want to know the Lord uh, and the power of his resurrection. Yes. Uh, I want to know him in the suffering uh, of his servant. Uh, but I want to be made conformable uh, right. into his image. Uh, we want to be saved, uh, yes. but we don't want to conform into the image of Jesus. Because uh, I heard him say, uh, if we suffer with him, uh, we shall reign with him. Uh, the church don't like the word struggle. Uh, right. uh, because struggle seems like it's a bad thing. Uh, but half of us in here, uh, we would not have what we have uh, if it was not for yes. our struggle. Uh, you wouldn't be so far at where you at uh, if it had not been for your struggle. Uh, can I talk to you like it's uh, real? Right. Uh, you would not be the person you are uh, if that last jigger didn't break your heart. Uh, you would not oh, be who right. you are uh, or who you are today. Yes. Uh, if that half time ninja let yes. uh, he didn't come in 
and do what she did. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Glory, so you better pray. What Paul says, Paul says, we did not come to you uh, with enticing words. Uh huh. Other folks got to tice you. Uh huh. You got to be careful, young man. Can I preach to you? You got to be careful when they come and they got enticing words. Uh huh. When they come and all that they know is, I just like you. All right. you to be careful. Young ladies, can I talk to you up in here? You got to be careful when they come looking like pretty Ricky. When they come and they look like they suited up and booted up right. And all they know is that girl, you fine. Well, baby, it's going to take more than you telling me that I'm fine because I was fine and went through a struggle. And I'm fine without you. I just wish I could talk to some real folks. Because if I can do bad all by myself, then why in the name of Jesus yeah. are you walking with these H2E double hockey sticks in my life? Yeah. Uh, if I'm trying to come out of something, uh, but yeah. you want me to get back into something, uh, uh, then the devil is a liar. Uh, I got to be careful uh, uh, because the gospel comes, uh, it comes to expose. Uh, let me help you understand something. Uh, Satan don't attack you when you're strong. Uh, Satan comes to get to you when you are weak. The devil don't want you when you're in your prime and you're strong. Yeah. He wants you when you are in your preliminary state and you are in your premature state trying to figure out why am I going through what I'm going through. So the gospel is not here. The gospel comes to open up your mind. In fact, it should not be here to you right. if you are part of the cold. But if you are lost about this thing, and don't have a clue of what's going on, then the gospel is hid. In fact, Paul said that the gospel right is hid. Right. Since it is hid, yeah. it's hid only to them yeah. that are lost. But oh, not unto hey. you who are the household of faith. Yeah. But I know there are times when your struggles can be uh -huh. So overwhelming till you feel like yeah. you're about to lose all of your sense of direction. Yeah. Let me help you understand something. Don't you never put too much trust in somebody Glory. that you don't know which direction to go if they walk out your uh -huh. life. No, the devil is a lie. You can step out, but I know where I'm headed. Yeah. Uh, Y'all ain't gonna talk to Why me. Uh, don't you never put too much trust in somebody if you don't put your toe the confidence in the Lord. Why? Because God will never leave, nor will he forsake you. Right. What he will do is, he'll pick you up, place you right there, put some war and angels there, and he'll go and fight the battles for you, and you'll be sitting over there, thinking he's going bye bye. But he ain't went nowhere. He's right there in the front while you're behind saying no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. But you think you're sitting there by yourself. The problem is you don't know what kind of angels you got on your side. And I think it's about time to tell you all the truth. Don't just call Jesus to the battle. You send your angels to go and war for you. Uh -huh. I feel like preaching here. I feel like really preaching here. Uh, it's a struggle. Uh -huh. It is a struggle. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. Yes, it is. I'm going to mess up this today. Yes, it is. I don't know why I just lost my focus right there. Look at somebody and say, Tell them, say, it is a struggle. Tell them, say, I struggle on my job. Tell them, I struggle in a marriage. Tell them, I struggle to keep it together. I struggle even with my kids. Uh -huh. I struggle because I'm a parent that's on their level. But they think they can run circles around me. Tell them, say, I struggle. I struggle so hard. Tell them, say, I struggle to make the money that I need to make. It's not sufficient enough to pay all my bills. Yeah. Tell them, say, I'm struggling. I struggle making my month-to-month -month car payments. But God still makes a way out of nowhere. Tell them, say, I'm 
struggling. Oh, hey. I'm even struggling in the church. Because I stepped down from my calling. Tell them, say, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to be what God called me to be. Because I'm tied down mentally. Tell them, say, I'm struggling. I'm struggling with my family. I want my mama to come with me. But my mama too drunk to roll over. I need my daddy to come there with me. But my daddy won't even show the initiative. Yeah. Uh, I'm oh, struggling. Hey. Trying to get my family to see that I made a turnaround in my life and I made a real change about myself. But uh, every time I look around, uh, I keep bringing up my past. Uh, look at somebody and say, neighbor, tell them, say, my struggle is real. Tell them every time I look around, my family tells me because of how I'm struggling. They say I'm struggling, so I'll never be good for nothing. I'm struggling to pick out the right clothes. I'm struggling to let go some bad company. I'm struggling to get my eyes off the natural. I'm struggling to make the right decisions in life. I'm struggling to do the right things. I'm struggling to let go of the wrong things. I'm struggling to let go of some negative I'm struggling and I know there is truth to it because even in the church we're struggling to keep our boys from going to home we're struggling in the church to keep the young girls from getting their heart broken by one boy and then going with some girl and calling her baby we're struggling to keep our children off of crack cocaine and drugs we're struggling I feel like preaching here to keep our young men on the straight and narrow and try to prove to them that y'all are the authoritative purpose and figure for the upcoming generation we're struggling we're struggling in the church trying to keep them saved and get them born again we're struggling struggling with our peer pressure we're struggling I feel like preaching here what we're struggling we're struggling with yeah. so much and I'm here to tell you you yeah. ought to thank God that he don't expose you yeah. while you're struggling yeah. with the things in private yeah. and expose you publicly yeah. you ought to thank God that he don't display the things he's dealing with you on in private and make it public because if the truth be told Many of us in here, we wouldn't be able to handle a moment like David. Can I preach like it is? Can I really preach like I want to? Uh -huh. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, since we are all in a struggle, tell them your struggle might be physical, but my struggle is emotional. Tell them your struggle might be mental, but my struggle is psychological. Tell them your struggle might be but my struggle is spiritually. Tell them your struggle might be because you're walking by sight and not by faith. But my struggle is because I'm struggling in my faith. So I can see God moving for you. But you can't believe that God is moving for you. Struggling. Believing God is moving. Because I can't see God. Can I preach like I want to? Look at somebody. Tell them, say, the struggle is real. Tell them, I'm struggling. But I'm tired of struggling. Tell them, I'm hurting. But I'm tired of hurting. Tell them, I've been misunderstood. But I'm tired of being misunderstood. I'm being taken wrong. But I'm wrong. Tell them, I don't want every boy snapping me on my butt. Because I walk with a swag. I need them to keep their hands off. Look at your neighbor. Yeah. Say, neighbor, I don't want to struggle like this. I don't want to struggle in my body with my sexuality. Oh, I need God to humble my flesh. Can I preach like I want to? Yeah. I don't want to struggle with the dope game. I need God to humble me. And every now and again, when you're going through, you feel yeah. Give me a 
videos. I had a sense of direction. And I gave my purpose yeah. to somebody else. But don't count me out. I've lost some relevance. I've lost yeah. my identity. To go be plain. I've lost some heartaches. Yeah. Some things I've been through. I've lost some friends. I went through yeah. some real fire. I've been through some real struggle. Yeah. I've been there. But y'all don't know yeah. what the hell I did. Yeah. 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 That told me yeah. you're too good yeah. to let you walk away. Yeah. You're too good yeah. to let me let you walk out. Yeah. Give me a sign of my head. I'm 
me. He knows my internal yeah. struggle. Some of the times we do it, but most of the time when you got leadership, we all over you. Yeah. Sometimes even the person who started this can seem like you're trying to walk above. But God said we ain't. And say, am I really satisfied with the person I became? Am I really satisfied? Because when the preaching stops, and when the music stops, and when the people start shouting, you still got to go on. But if you really love the person you are, then you ought to turn that thing, turn it on back around. What made you cry should make you smile. What had you down should make you stand up. What brought you low should rise you up high. And you should be able to say that if it had not been for the Lord on my side, oh, I can tell you where I'd be. See, the devil want to time to take you down. The enemy want to try to break you down. You've been through something yesterday, didn't you? That shook your head up, shook your mind up. I see it in the mirror. You got to understand that what you're going through, it ain't going to change until you stand up and say, I'm tired. And I'm really needing it this time. I ain't going through it. And I really need it this time. I'm not this person that you can just do what you want to do. And you got the story. I'll cast the devil out of the person. Let me help you understand something. Look me in my face. If they can't appreciate what God has done, stop letting them depreciate your value. Can I talk to her, Quantum? Yeah. They don't see me. Talk to her, Quantum. You and you. You tell them bye-bye. Bye-bye. I ain't got time for you to bring me down. I'm going to help you understand something. Sometimes or another. See, a real father, a father, he don't hear his voice. A real father, he chastised him. But he won't hear his voice. A real father, he'll see his daughter. Yeah. Right now, you spinning your wheels. 
You gonna hurt yourself. You gonna take yeah. yourself down the whole path. A real father will tell his daughter yeah. if you want to go, then go on. But I'll be right here with my arms outstretched, waiting on you to return home. Yeah. Come to yourself and say, Father, I'm sorry. I want you to take your hands and wrap them around her. I want you to wrap them so tight. Wrap them around her. Because this is what's really happening. She needs a manly hug. There's going on. That's getting ready to break in this baby. Uh, Will you really hug her? I want you to really put it to her. Because there's something that has to happen. I found this out that most of the time, elder is that they lack one thing. One thing. And that's the love from their father, father. And most of the time, daddy can be in yeah. the house. But daddy, daddy. you're not paying me the no right attention. attention. And I'm tired. Yeah. I'm walking past you, huh? yeah. trying to get your attention, huh? yeah. and you don't notice me. Yeah. The only time huh, that you notice me huh, is when I do something wrong. Huh? Yeah. The only time huh, that you notice me yeah. huh, is when I break the law. Huh? The only time huh, you notice me yeah. huh, is when I make your name yeah. huh, a scandalization. Yeah. Huh? The only time huh, that you notice me huh, is when I dress too much. Yeah. And show too much. Yeah. Then you're talking about that. Calling me out my name. Yeah. Talking yeah. about my character. But my father, the one that sits high, the one that looks low, he know what I'm struggling with. God told me to tell you. You got one more time. And he gonna show you how powerful he is. The Holy Ghost told me, you bringing this child down. But God told me to tell Tell you, is mine, says the Lord, and he's going to repay for everything you do. You're going to pay all richly for every seed you sow. You're going to reap a harvest. He's giving you one more time to get yourself together. You come in day in and day out, and ain't nothing changing. That reminds me that there needs to be something present in your life. You got an opportunity. To, yes. to change But if you don't want change Then keep on hanging in It's already yes. Already you yes, Keep on hanging in there Look at somebody And say neighbor Don't count me out Don't count me out Don't count me out Don't count me out She got a wall up, don't she? Don't she? You know how I know? Look how she's standing off. Like she's ready to roll. There's a wall built. Most of the time, most of the time, we go build this wall, but there's a question. How do you handle somebody that know how to take the leap of faith? All right. It will come across that wall and say, you right there. Hide behind a wall. Thank you. Come here. Come here. You hide behind a wall. You can be a mighty man of valor. Hmm. You can be a man of strength. Oh yeah. 
not the type of investment I'm talking about. Money can't buy that. Money can't buy a person they mind back when you done drove them crazy. I don't care how many psychiatrists you sent them to. Money can't fix a broken heart. Because there's no surgeon that can go in there that can tell you where it's broken at. There's no leader that can pinpoint that brokenness. When you grow up in broken homes, you are already broken. And when you're trying to get together with somebody that's broken and you are broken, the both of y'all are shattered. Because the pieces don't line up. Because there's still some pieces to your life that's been broken. And until God puts you back to yourself and make you whole, you're no good for nobody else. I don't care how much you try it. I don't care even if it's in a friendship. If you're broken in yourself and that friend is broken within themselves, I don't care how much you try to make a friendship all bun, you're not going to bun. Because you're broken. This is the life. It's called struggle. You want to do what's right? Huh? You do? Do you know how to do what's right? How do you do what's right? Huh? Huh? By taking control. Wrong. By yielding. You first have to surrender. You got to give up the anger. You got to give up thinking you the man. You're not the man. You're the young man coming to be a man. I have a question I want to ask you. Look me in my face. If God bless you to have a daughter, is you going to want your daughter with everybody? But what you going to do when she say, Daddy, you did it? What are you going to do? You're going to beat her up, ain't you? Drag her down the road. Kick her. Call out her name, ain't you? What you going to do? That's just on her. You see how you're not ready to be a man? Would you do that? But if you're not showing the right way, and the reason why you're not showing is because you have not been shown. And the reason why you have not been shown is because you're running from who's trying to show you the right way. See, week after week, weekend after weekend, y'all think that life is about going places and always spending money that you can't even account for. Because if I want to take you and sit you down with me and I'm talking business, you'll be broke as a joke because why? You just want to splurge your money. Watching movies that just hit them, just same time it hit the movie, it then went on one, two, three movies. You can watch it right there online. If I wanted to say, listen, we're getting ready to launch this lawn service, what would your attitude be like? If a customer did not come to the door because they did not hear you knock, what would your attitude be like? All this is predicated on where you are now. Because God can move for you now, but if you ain't changing now, you're going to destroy everything. See, this is why people don't, don't, don't like to be told the truth, because the truth hurts. The truth is supposed to hurt you just to heal you. It's time out for telling young people that God get ready to bless your life and bless your situation and turn this stuff around and all that, and y'all still living raggedy. Tell y'all the truth. You got a line of bad trail that you're leaving. And for every seed you sow, there's a harvest. Whether it's a good seed or a bad seed, there is a harvest. There's seed time and there's harvest time. But can you handle the harvest time when it comes and it's all bad because you sow bad seed? See, we look for bad seeds to be counseled and cursed at the root in the name of Jesus. But no, 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 be not deceived. God is not more. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he what? Also reap. And trust me, if I wouldn't have sown a lot of the stuff that I did in my past, oh my God, 
When that time of reaping season came, I went and ripped all this stuff. But I learned through all of that that was coming back, and it was coming back, and God was reminding me that, hey, them are seeds that you sown. I asked him, I said, Lord, how do I handle these things? He said, just go ahead and go through it. Go ahead and take it because, hey, you, you, you thought it was a joke. You thought it was a game. But who's laughing now? Who's laughing now? You get ready to be 18. The real world is out there. That devil going to be laughing. And he's going to try to throw everything at you and say, no, that's God. I'm going to tell you right now. At 18 and 17 right now, if you don't have a state ID, if you don't even have your driver license, listen, listen to what I'm saying. If you don't have your driver license, if you don't have a focus, if you don't have all these things going on and stuff, 17, you're supposed to be approaching graduation. You're supposed to be ready. You're supposed to be ready. You're supposed to be knowing where your next step is. Rather, it's going to be college or rather, it's going to be a trade school. Rather, it's going to be a vocational school. Rather, you're going to go to the military. Rather, you're going to go start a business or you're going to go work for somebody. You need to start having these things now. Because when you walk across the stage, it's party time. It's not reality check. It's party time because we don't want the reality check. The reality check is after you walk across the stage, the law is now not on your side. They don't want to hear what you got to say. You can't go back to the school and go pick up some young girl. You're going to jail for statutory rape. Right. And now they got it when you graduate, they don't even want you back up there. They don't need to come up there to see the teachers. Ain't no such thing as walking me your little girl to school or I'm, I'm looking out for my cousin. Them days over. Because younger people that took what we used to do and it was righteous. And they made a fight out of it and they made it look bad. And y'all now have to reverse this curse. There's a curse put on y'all. There's a curse put on you young ladies. There is a curse placed upon your lives. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? It's already been told how far you should go. And it's going to get harder for you all. There ain't no more jobs. They're not tearing down and opening up. They're tearing down places and opening up the same place somewhere else because they're trying to get away from y'all. Look at really where the real jobs are lying in. They'll be way out there. Just take a travel. Get out of the Allendale, Lakeside, Queensboro, Highland, Cooper Road. Get, get out of those areas, those hoods, and go into communities. Go into neighborhoods where you got to have a cold to a gate before you get in there. Go down Williamson Way and Burgundy Oaks and go, go that way and start getting a better vision about your life. Stop looking at two bedroom shotgun houses there. When you open your front door, you can see your back door. And, and go and look at condos and go look at other mansion or houses and tell yourself, I can have that if I put my hard work and I put my mind to it, I can accomplish that. But the curse is on y'all life. They don't want you to believe that, hey, you can get in tune with somebody, you can start do something and get your house built from the ground up. They don't want you to know that. So you walk around with an attitude when other folks have that. When people live like that, y'all call us kind of folks bougie and stuck up. When we ride around in cars and we got our doors locked because we don't know if y'all gonna run up to us on the, at the red light and try to jack us for our car that we work hard for. Still paying a note on. Or y'all wanna swerve in front of us and try to give us premeditated heart attacks up before time and kill us and then have to dance with radio pistols in the air like you wanna pop us. Pop me for what? Cause I'm driving and respecting the law. This is what's going on, this is the curse. They want to put a pill in your mouth and call it G and, and, and click up with a bunch of folks and let's go and hit this joint, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. And then we ride around and we swerve around and we go on the Crenshaw down here and we go on the block and just do stupid stuff. Let's get wasted. Let's be defiant. Let's walk through the door and tiptoe because I don't want nobody to say nothing to me. When you grow up in broken homes, see, they go, I'm a strict parent. That's why you know Viola ain't with me. Because I'm strict. I don't play games. There's no way you can walk in my house. Period. And be coming through my door one, two, three in the morning. Or you miss coming home when I say come. 
I let you knock. Now look you dead in your face right there at the door and say, what's up? Oh, I'm ready to come on in. Now? Well, you need to go back to where you come from. Because obviously that fun took your attention and took you way past what you remember. I thought we had a conversation, we had an agreement. But guess what? When we do that, y'all want to call us bad. But when you get yourselves in some trouble and you get your butt shot or somebody almost shot you, cause now, who the first person y'all come calling? Why y'all want us, young people, for when life is at y'all throats? But y'all don't want us when we're trying to stop life from choking y'all throats. Don't you tell me about my bad stuff. Don't tell me about the stuff out there in these streets. I got this. I can handle me. Do you know the bad part about it is? Y'all are like scratch DVDs that's on repeat. Oh, man. The dope they got out here now ain't nothing compared to the stuff that was out there then. It's still the same dope. All they did was lace it up and give it a new name. Mushrooms that folks used to eat back then. And, and it cannot be real. Mushrooms white people used to eat. Black folks didn't eat that junk. White folks ate mushrooms. I hung out with them. Powder called the white pony. That white girl, white folks used to snort that stuff, not black people. Doctors used to take Valiums to keep themselves up and go to work because they worked long hours and take summons and Xanaxes and Percocets, Oxycontin, all of these different pills, Hannibal's. But somehow it done leaked into our black community and it's to stop y'all from being powerful mentally because if y'all rise up mentally and be powerful beyond measure y'all are going to change this stigma and change the status quo that's been placed on your life the devil don't want you to know just how powerful you are so he's gonna keep on imprisoning your mind and incarcerate your mind it's not gonna want you to know the truth He wants you to believe that because you didn't grow up with a father, all you got to do is say, is you against the world like Tupac? That's a lie. Or you got to run out here and your mama can't tell you nothing because why? Mama can't raise a man. That's a lie. If a young man can't respect his mama and don't love his sister nor mama, he'll never respect a woman. Amen. Man, that's true. Never. Never. You can't have respect for a female when you disrespect the one that gave birth to That's you. it. I don't care if she's the sorriest mama it is in the world. You better see some value in her. That's because it. Because obviously she had enough to give birth to you when she could have wrapped you up after birth and throw you in the trash can. Mm -hmm. Or she could have just gave you up and just wrote you off and at birth right there when they came into the delivery room. She could have said, I don't want that baby. Do you know how many mothers right now overseas that are black carry their babies all in Africa and other places and when they get ready to give birth, you got these folks here waiting to take them because they finna sell their children. They never see their kid. Can you imagine being lost like that? Got some type of genetic gene running through you and then a DNA running through you. Got something that's pulling you but you don't know where to start your search. You got children right now that's born in China. They sold into prostitution, young ladies, at the age of eight. Muslims take kids and trick them, turn them out, make them sluts, put them on front street and sell them. They no more good. Black folks doing it now, walking away from their responsibilities, disowning their children, turning y'all out. And that's the devil's game. Because he don't want you to know the truth and the value about who you are. You really value yourself. Don't lay down. Herpes is real. Syphilis is real. AIDS is real. HIV is real. Chlamydia is real. Yes, it is. Gonorrhea is real. 
Yes, it is. Chickamauga is real. Hmm. And if some of y'all have been burnt before, you ought not want to go back through that again. See it? Bacteria vandosis, young lady, that stuff real. Yeast infections, that stuff is mm -hmm. real. UTIs, that stuff is real. It's painful. You ought not want to be on no pills. Medicine. Because guess what? The next person might not tell you that they loaded. That person might not tell you that they're walking around with an incurable disease. They might That's not tell it. you. That's it. Now you coughing. Don't know why. Yep. You bumping up and don't know why. Mm. You can't explain it. But all you know, you just got to try to find out what's wrong. Mm -hmm. This stuff is real. It's real. Yes, it is. And it's the devil's design to trap y'all. If you go make a baby, and you yourself don't even know the first thing to sign it up for nothing, you're going to put it on the female. The first thing you're going to say to that female, oh, it ain't mine, shoot. I don't know who all you been with. Because you're a sorry Negro who know what you did, but don't want to step up and man up. That's it. Or she's a sorry female that'll try to use the baby. Oh, you ain't got to worry about seeing this baby. Hey, yeah, I'm going to put you on child support. How you going to go put somebody on child support that ain't never had a job? But all because why? They want their last year to walk around pregnant. Or you want to walk around and flex yourself like having a baby on the way is something to be proud of. It's here to trap you. Slow you down. Stop you from going into a brighter and a bigger future. Because that child gonna need 24-7 tender love and care. And when that child, if, if you cannot help yourself when you get a pneumonia and you still in the bed with your mama, how you gonna help your baby? Somebody said that real talk, that real talk. That real talk. I gotta leave. I got to have his baby. For what? They ain't gonna make him faithful. Because you're gonna be mad when you hear them words. I didn't make it. You raise it. I don't need your help. Now you're trying to go down the road, but you don't have no direction. If your life is broken, ask God to heal you. In that area. And the reason why you can't find no settlement and settle down within yourself is because you have not been delivered from all of those people who have bounced in your life and bounced out. You need to find peace within yourself. You need some tranquility. You need to be humbled. There's nothing wrong with being handsome, beautiful. There's nothing wrong with having a swag, but have integrity above all. Don't let a girl or a guy kiss all over you to feel they don't respect your body. Back then we used to do patch marks. I don't know if y'all ever did. We used to do patch marks, and that's how we branded them to let them know that was ours, you know. Put some patch marks on them. Uh -huh. one day. I put a patch mark on a girl and didn't know what kind of mama she had. And her mama brought her daughter over there to my house and whooped her daughter. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you one thing, you don't ever want to get whooped by a grandma. Man, my grandma slapped my face three times. <laughs> my face was rookie shape. And when it stopped, she slapped again. <laughs> and all I heard in my head, don't you ever do that again. <laughs> And that third slap, like snot came out. And it wasn't that slap like that, it was that pop, 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 like back me in my mouth. She shook me till I felt like I was Muhammad Ali when I just stand up, shake. And she didn't even say nothing to me. She didn't even ask me, was this true? Or was the girl lying on me? She just took it because she knew the girl's parents. The lady say, Jesse, your baby did this. Look at my daughter, Nick. It's 
speak in the fashion order. Don't know, don't do that now. Not, I. Mm. Not you. Not I. But that's supposed that's supposed to be your right? You ain't tired of putting yourself through that? But you told this girl that you care for her. That ain't hers. Wow. I'm asking a question here. Wow. That ain't your doing? Jesus. That's your doing. That happened at the movie, didn't it? Huh? So Boo went to being Boo. <laughs> wow, see, y'all need to start playing the game with the Lord. Because you know Jesus. what? Jesus. After you do it, and then you get disrespect to how you feel. Now take a look at this. That's right. Son. Hmm. Wow. We all had these fights among y'all said these arguments. Which way you going from here? After you get through kissing and licking on one another. <laughs> where you going from here? <laughs> where you going from here? If she need to be, if she need to be driven to the hospital, how she gonna get there? How she hmm. gonna get there? I wanna know. I wanna, I wanna know. How she gonna get there? A call, a call. I ain't trying to be known to. <laughs> I'm not trying to be nosy. I'm trying to prove a point here. Mm -mm. I can just go on and call it like it is then. I see you looking at me at the corner of your eye, JJ. I'm right over here looking at you. Hmm. Look at me, bitch. Since you're going on my day. Let me help you understand your power and influence. Come on over here. Me and Quantum's going to share you. Just lean on you because you're <laughs> Let me tell you the power of influence seriously. Hold your head up. Hold your head up. You going to wreck a lot of people's lives because there's something about those October 19 folks. We can be good or we can be so great to where we mess up folks' lives. And it's something that keep on putting you to move and do you. But you won't. Because you know why? You ain't found that place of peace yet. I promise you, you can make him respect you. Oh, you can. I promise you, you can make him run around here like a chicken with his head cut off. I promise you, you can make him give up all of his check. I promise you. And never lay down with him and never do nothing with him. I promise you. I promise you, you if y'all gonna even think you wanna coke cause you're at that age where you do it, you can make him get money and you can be smart enough to be putting him back for a future. And he'll be so gullible not knowing. And he'll be trying to figure out, how did we get a car? Cause I was taking your money and putting it to work. No, you ain't. You gotta get driver license first. If not, don't you jump in that car with somebody who ain't got no driver license. They quick to put a tag on your car. Now y'all cannot outsmart the police. <laughs> ain't no more than it ain't registered, but it's in my mama and I ain't stopped them lies. Mama ain't been on here no driver license, got a state ID. Come on, that is not a driver license. And folks will sell you anything just to see it out their hands, just to get that money. You need some directions. Stop thinking you got it figured out. Age might say you ready. But if maturity say you're not, you might not want to try to run when you should be crawling. I done spent my years wasting my money on cars just because I wanted a car. So I bought it from people out the hood because I wanted a car. Come to find out that, guess what? Them cars wouldn't take me nowhere. No, they didn't break down because I had a job, so I fixed my car. They just want the type of cars that I wanted to keep driving. I just got bored with them and I didn't like them no more. 
Then I went and did what the average young man would do. Go find him some little fine bristle and oh boy, was she sexy only with the jeans on. That's it. Take out the jeans and everything that was sitting up, fall to the floor. That up, mess my world up. There we go. Come to find out that that them jeans is a lie. I didn't miss the genuine no more. There wasn't nothing about in those jeans. It was over with. Looked like she was just tucking back there. Oh, how she is? And as soon as she came out them clothes, I, oh, she scared me. Scared me. But guess what? I let women like that not knowing what they doing wreck my car. Just wreck it. My knee baby sister took up for one lady. Said that she wrecked it. I pulled a shotgun on both of them. I told him, you got less than five minutes to get up out my house. Matter of fact, five seconds. One, two, my sister grabbed her, her bag and ran. The other girl thought it was a joke. I shot at her. Right there in Highland. Are you crazy? <laughs> girl, I got to catch the bus now. But I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking that I'm the one that's working in this food, drinking my money up, eating my food, living in my, my place. Yeah, but that's what y'all look for now. Cause why is she sexy? Oh boy, I just wanna put my arms around and walk with her. And I just wanna have my pants down here. Then they skinny legs at that. They only say by right there and they real thin like and I'm walking with my leg like this and trying to look like I'm cooler. I, I, I got a grill in my mouth and I want everybody to know she mine. So I'm gonna hold her like I'm crippling my fingers and man, everybody been not looking my cool and blood. And before you know it, ain't none of that mounted up to nothing because you ain't gonna tell her that when you went down there to get some popcorn, she wasn't even in your thoughts. Took you long to come back. Oh, I had to use the bathroom. though. You're lying. She all on your neck. Listen, the bad part about this is, where you going? Where you going from here? Do you see her in your future? Do you see him in your future? I ain't say do you see yourself having a future with him, but do you see him in it? Probably. That's an unsurety. How many women have you ever seen in your future, if you don't mind telling it? What's that? How many women you saw in your future? Oh, a lot of them. <laughs> Are they in down there? <laughs> he look like he one of them Scotty Pippen type of players. <laughs> <laughs> Just, he was tall with it. Can you play ball? <laughs> That's how he ain't have to be able to shoot or nothing. They just like the fact that he was tall. <laughs> they had them little front of shoulders and stuff, you know. Baby boy face coming up. He probably kept his little weight up. Back then, he was like probably Jerry Curl. <laughs> <laughs> they were loving so glow. So, but you can answer me. Do you see him in your future? Huh? You say, I don't want to tell the truth because he going to be mad. Do you see her in your future? Do you see her in your future? I want y'all to think about that. I really want you to think about that. Because if you see her for right now, when she gone, you probably won't see her no more. But you'll always have a memory. Would that memory be because you hit it? Or would they remember me because of the fact that y'all shared a bone one? And it made it hard for you as an individual like it make it hard for her as an individual to really move on. When you really share a bond with somebody, you, you can go on, but you don't move on. Can I talk to them right? It's something on the inside that always holds you. No matter how you go, can do you. And the first bond that you need is the bond of Christ. When you know Christ, you know yourself. But if you don't know yourself, you're not going to know somebody else. You're not going to be able to appreciate it. So, Misha, turn around. Turn around, Misha. 
Uh oh, Misha. <laughs> Turn around, Misha. Look up at Quantas. Because he got a lot of questions. Just like me, he's like, wow, well, baby. He just looks like a man. He, he, he just, what a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. And yes, he is. Look at Quantas. Can you imagine somebody like him going through something bad? He just looked like he pretty boy. He just got it made all up. Look, he built right. And it, look, I'll just do, do what Medea did. What did I do one time? I slap him up there a couple times like a police officer. Put your arms up here. Seriously. Put your arm on his shoulder. Because sometime, you know what? Look, listen to me. You're going to need somebody's shoulder you can lean on. That's it. Because I might not always be available. You don't need somebody that you can talk to. That's it. And sometimes when you see certain people, you might not want to talk. You might just want to say, hey, I just, just give me a hug. Because you're missing something deeply. But I think his daughter and you share one and the same connections. And he's learning wow. on how to handle his by watching you. You think you want to tell her your testimony after church? He boasted and bragged about you the first day he saw you. He said, oh my God, she looks and reminds me of my daughter. And Misha, guess what? You've helped him to be able to receive and have hope again for his daughter. Oh, yeah, it up, baby. You need to know how much of a star you are. Yes, she is. See, sometimes you don't know how you shining in other folks' life That's because it. you're busy trying to see who's shining in yours. That's it. But you done came in this church and you done sparked life into somebody. Yes, she have. <laughs> With all that's against you, you got somebody that comes, and I mean, he been back faithfully. Amen. <laughs> He said something out of his mouth to me the other night ago. He said, man, we're supposed to be teaching them, but man, pastor, they teaching us. Yes, they are. They teaching us. I just want you to know you're a ruler. Mm -hmm. You can rule well, or you can rule wrong. Either way it go, you're still a ruler. You can lead right, or you can lead wrong. You still a leader. Uh -huh. You can encourage and you got tan down strength. And you can tell somebody down where they'll never be rebuilt again. Yes, you can. You got some real power with you. You can hurt somebody to the core to where they'll never shake back. And they life will testify by the fruit they bear. have a brick home. I see it in your future. You're going to have nice furniture. I don't see roaches and rats running across your floor. All right. I see you're not just going to let folks just swallow all over your comfort couches and just come to your house. I want you to be protective. Protect yourself. Protect your goods. Protect your values. You hear me? Do like Sierra. Tell them, say, not my goodies. You don't know that song, do you? I forgot y'all just 12. <laughs> she ain't 12. <laughs> Protect yourself. Not with a condom. Protect yourself. If you come to that point, you got to say, mm -mm, mm -mm. hold yourself. Stop them. Because all it takes is for one, and it'll slow you down. And then you'll be left that seed for the rest of your life because what takes you five minutes to get in can take a lifetime to get out of it that's it and you don't want hardships before time normally the guys don't believe this thing until they get in it, and then they get the regret that they ever got in it because they don't know what to stay in court they just don't show up or when they show up they come lying like they've been doing something, but they ain't got no kind of documents because they don't want to learn nothing. Mm -hmm. 
But your honor, I'll, I'll tell you, I've been doing money. Smacking more than a woman do. <laughs> Yo, you can go have a seat. Now that she want another hug from Quintus. She want a hug from Quintus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come here, dear. Dear man, you can smile. Come here, dear. Elvis, stop the 